took receipt of my copy of Building a Second Brain yesterday. Thank you very much, Tiago Forte. Um, I'm just working through it, but what I noticed in working through it is that both Building a Second Brain and other personal knowledge management systems, such as Getting Things Done by David Allen, all have a capture element. And that capture element is something I've been working on the last 24 hours. That digital inbox, that digital dumping ground where I am picking up tasks, information, key things I need to remember, key things I need to act on later in the day, week, or term. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I've got that digital inbox set up to suit my needs and how you can set it up for yours. Okay, in my inbox, few things I wanna have on display at any one time. Right, When I'm in there and I'm dropping a note in, or a bit of information I've been given on school, I maybe want to be able to quickly see what tasks did I have, what actions did I have lined up for today or tomorrow. So what I've got in there is a few of my actions items, and that is filtered, filters set there, just to show me what I have set as a due date for today or tomorrow, and what's not yet done. Quite simple, okay? Very simple view of my today and tomorrow actions. Just so I can quickly, if I'm like, I've got a minute, I've just taken a know what else did I need to do today? I can quickly look at that there then. All right, then what I've got separately to that, you can see the red outline there, this is a synced block. Okay, and I'll show you why I've got a synced block here uh, in a few seconds. But a synced block, very, very easily created. I'll create another one just below, uh, forward slash sync. Okay, sync block, we create that. Anything we drop in there, we can view that same block elsewhere in our system just by copying and pasting the link to that sync block. I'm gonna delete this one for now because I've already got one in place. And what's in there? Little title, nothing uh, complex about that at all. Then I've got a little red note in there, add new notes into empty space here. So if I'm around about school and I wanna say, Johnny, uh, homework coming in, Tomorrow, for example, I can just be dropping those notes in there as I'm speaking to the individuals. I don't need to remember. I know I'm gonna come back and view this at least on a two, three times daily basis, okay? Got in here a little archive so that once I've dealt with Johnny's homework coming in tomorrow, later, I just drop it into my Notion archive. That is my archive for everything in Notion that I don't think I'm gonna need again, but I don't wanna delete it either. It's all in there. And then just by chance, if I wanna view all my actions, I can quickly view all my actions inside that toggle right there. I'm not gonna open it up because there's stuff in there that's personal and potentially of sensitive nature. It's all in there, in behind that toggle, my full actions database. Then down below, just because I know I'll be coming back to here anytime that I uh, I'm all around about doing the shopping, wherever. I use Notion in my personal life too. I've got a shopping list there and I can just add bits onto the bottom as I ne remember that I need to, um, buy whatever it is, bread and milk. I can add those in there. Once I've bought them using a Notion checkbox, I can then tick them off and they're gone. It's all there. And look, if I'm buying something again, nice feature of this, need to buy chickpeas again and cardamom, I can just untick them. There they are, they're available. Once I've got them in the shop, they're ticked again. Just a small aspect of that. But the real beauty of this sync block, right, is that sync block, so I can copy and paste the link from there copy link to block, I can drop that in anywhere else in my system. And one place that I want to have that elsewhere in my system is in my weekly review template. Every single week, I sit down as part of my get th getting things done process, I sit down and do a weekly review of everything, clean up all my digital workspace, make sure all my tasks are um, organized and simplified. Uh, and one of the aspects of that is to make sure that this digital inbox is fully cleared Okay, so one of my tasks in my weekly review is to clear my inbox notes. Okay, and what I mean by that is I have a little toggle there, my inbox notes are below it, and there is that synced block in my weekly review. So if I go back into my inbox and I have uh, Maisie homework uh, in tomorrow, Maisie's run a bit late this week, I can leave that in there and in my weekly review, there you have it, Maisie's homework in tomorrow. I'll be tidying that up on my, every Friday I do my weekly review, clear my digital workspace. I'll note that in there, I'll be like, oh yeah, Maisie did got go that homework in, I'll need to go and chase her now, I'll speak to her tutor or whatever it is. Okay, super useful way there of capturing all the information, task, whatever you need from around your day-to-day uh, -day life in one place where you can then drop that uh, sync block elsewhere in your system in order that 
uh, you're sure you've got one place to capture everything and you're not going to drop it or lose anything elsewhere in your working day, week and month. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, get yourself onto Amazon, get yourself a copy of Building the Second Brain. Really, really enjoying the book um, and looking forward to further enhancing my digital workspace using the ideas from Tiago's book. So thank you, Tiago. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing. It makes it all worthwhile. I'll see you again next week.